hello guys and welcome to day 13 on my 20 weeks one challenge now today's meant to be a fasting day and i say meant to because there's been a change of plan let's get into the video and see why okay guys welcome it's saturday today and it's freezing cold i think you're gonna get sick of me saying this it is so cold outside once again something went wrong with my heater so it just kind of left me miserable last night i just went to bed early if you never checked out day 12 video i will leave that here so <clears throat> It's morning. I woke up at six o'clock. I allow myself to sleep later on the weekend. And I had a client to train straight after. I need to kind of sort out my gym room when I finish. So I've trained her and then my daughter woke up and then we had to go and sort out what's going on with the gas. We've gone and done that. And then my daughter goes to me, mummy, can we have some breakfast? Now, mind you, I can't remember the last time I had breakfast, like real breakfast except for Christmas time. And the last time I even had breakfast with her. So, you know, we wake up, she goes to breakfast club in the morning and I felt kind of really bad. So I've made a conscious decision today to eat and eat carbs. So not loads, but I am going to have breakfast with my daughter and then um, I am going to have a keto meal uh, for my dinner. So I'm going to give it space. It's around going on to about 11 o'clock now. So I'm going to eat until about four or three. So I'm going to give myself an hour gap because you know, guys know if you know, I don't like eating back to back. Sorry, I had a. Alexa, stop. Sorry, my Alexa just came on. So, um, yeah, um, I'm going to space it out. So I'm going to have, I bought some organic eggs. So I'm going to have some scrambled eggs. I am going to have, um, I forgot the beans. I'm going to have um, some French bread and some organic cheese. And I hope I can find my beans, but I don't think I can. Um, and then I'm going to have some grilled mushrooms. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to have. Then a cup of tea and maybe something sweet i'm not too sure yet i'm contemplating on that and then later on for dinner i bought some broccoli so i'm gonna have some steamed broccoli with some steamed runner beans garlic and butter and then i am gonna have uh, cauliflower cheese again i'm gonna have grilled mackerel and um whatever else i can think of that is keto i'm not doing it because um I, I, I want to eat keto today. I'm doing it because that's mostly what I've got. So that's the good thing. When you when you shop that way, you mostly have those things in the house. So it's less temptation. The only reason why I've got a lot more temptation in my house is because of my daughter. But if you have the liberty of cutting as... And I cut it. If you've got the liberty to cut it as clean as you can, do it because it will, it will serve you. So apart from the bread i'm not gonna have no rice or no no nothing like that with um with my food later on um refeeding keto does that for you it just lowers everything it just makes you feel a lot more better you don't want to like i do want to eat today but i don't want to eat as bad as i do when i refeed on carbs and the carbs on the next day is so hard to restart again a clean clean fast so um, it's easier with keto and that's the reason one of the biggest reasons that I do it and one of the other biggest reasons is I'm going to get more maximum um, results with that so um, I went to bed uh, I took my hair and nail supplements so this morning back again with some Nutriburst I gotta give some to my daughter as well yeah. sorry guys my heat is on I can't be living without it. And then Complex X, one of my clients' workplace, everybody's got COVID. So I don't worry about those things because of this. I don't worry about those things because I look after myself and my nutrition is good. And um, yeah, I just don't. Of course, I'm not naive about it and I try to keep myself as safe as I can. But as human beings, we're not meant to be two meters apart from each other and all that kind of stuff so it's never viruses that's the problem it's your immune system get your immune system right if you want any links or any uh trial supplement um tr uh, samples the links are below so guys i'm gonna go make some breakfast with my daughter and i'm gonna enjoy it and i will check in with you soon take care hey guys so i'm checking in from 
day, what day was it? Day 12, uh, 12, 13, sorry, day 13. It is the next day and why I've got the same clothes on because I've stayed up all night. It's about, I don't know, about eight o'clock in the morning. I've been up all night. I have just been working on some courses that I have and um, yeah, just stayed up really, to be honest with you. I'm absolutely tired now and it it, it's not the staying up that done it. It's just the allowing myself to kind of just eat that's done it. One of the things that I don't like about um, about a free day, so to speak, and not even planning your cheat is that you just don't have, well, me, I don't have no self-control. So I have, as much as I haven't been super hungry, I didn't end up eating my keto meal. I took my daughter to get some chips and I ended up just having a little bit of chips with her. It was only a little bit, but I didn't end up having my keto meal. Then I had my infamous crackers that I said I wasn't going to have. Um, and I left it in my box to have with my cheese. And I had some fruit. I just had things I shouldn't have had, honestly, guys. And loads of cups of teas, biscuits. And that's mostly because I was cold. I have to make sure next week that I've got this gas man coming in, making sure all the heatings are working properly and then full blast. The bathroom one looks like it's leaking a little bit of water. The nice thing, or the good thing, should I say, about failing, so to speak, or it not going your way, is that if you're wise, you can learn from it and learn from it quickly. So I know that I've never snake juice fast. I have done juice fasting in winter before, but... And I don't even think I've done the maples, uh, the master cleanse in the winter before. But I've never, I've never fasted like this in cold winter, and it's freezing. And I'm not too good with the cold, and it is, ha it's made it really difficult for me, um, refeedings and all of that. So I think that what I, I'm going to do a separate video of what I've learned, um, what I've learned this week about myself and fasting and all of that. But otherwise, as much as um, I haven't done good, especially yesterday, I'm a person that I just don't dig down. I don't disrespect myself. I don't tell myself I'm fat or I'm worthless or I can't do it, I've got no focus and all of that. I don't do any of that. Even when I didn't have evidence that I could do it, even when, like now I've got memory that I've done crazy good fasts before. I've read, refed good and bad and had good and bad results. Even without the memory, I know I'm a child of God. I'm worth something. So there's no point disrespecting myself. And um, yeah, just like just like a business, it may take you six months, three months, a year to kind of find your groove, find your feet. It's the same with fasting. So that's the way I look at it. Yesterday, my, 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 um, where is it? Oh, I don't even know where I put it. My garment was so tight. It was absolutely uncomfortable. It was digging me. From my from my breastbone and uh, on my back. When I took it off, it was itching like crazy. I just left it off and kept it off all night. I did take it off about four o'clock in the morning though, so um, I've had it on all day and it was just really irritating me. Um, I couldn't sit on my um, actually saying that I couldn't sit on my new uh, reading chair very comfortably, so that made it like really really hard. So another thing I've been doing in this time that. Um, I had, sorry guys, my garment for that. The, the things that I've been doing in the time that um, I stayed up and all day and whatever is that I sorted out the rest of my room. So I've got my new reading chair, which I am so happy about. It is so nice. It's got these legs and stuff like that. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, that will give me a good place to either do some reading, which I don't get to do in this house, only on the bus, or and especially sort out my regime for my Bible studies and my, you know, me meditation with Christian meditation. So I'm really happy with that. So I took the other chair upstairs. So one of my clients actually that lives a couple of doors away from me helped me. She was like, oh, I better help you before I have to refeed because she's doing um Omed keto. So um, and even she had that issue. She texted me. She's like, oh, I can't. I can't cope. It's so cold. I need a cup of tea and I'm going to have some biscuits. I said, Girl, do what you have to do because I feel exactly the same way. So I can't knock you for something that I'm willing to do. But she had her she had her food first and then she did it later, which is something maybe I should have done because I wasn't even that hungry. I wasn't even that hungry. So it was a bit silly for me to um, have the chips and all of that. Um, yes, 
but now I've got to replan. That is the thing now. So, you know, originally, you know, one of my big goals is to be able to have some carbs on my birthday. And that's something I was looking forward to. But now it's gone haywire. So I'm not too sure how I'm going to do this. So I'm looking at this for the first time with you. I haven't planned out how this is going to go for me. So don't quote me on anything. So we have Saturday, which I need to rub out. Today, I'm not going to lie. I am just going to... Um, because I've still got the keto meal in and I know it's going to make it much more easier for me to go back into a fast with a keto meal. I'm going to have some carbs maybe this afternoon, this morning as breakfast or lunch with my daughter. And then my last meal, I'm going to have keto. Then we was meant to be naturally fasting on the Monday and refeeding keto on the Tuesday and then dry fasting on the Wednesday and then my birthday meal. But the thing is, um, where I've missed out the fasting here, I'm going to have to go in here. So I'm going to fast Monday, fast Tuesday, fast Wednesday. Now, I am going to have the same meal that I'm going to have on my birthday. But this time, I'm just going to cut the alcohol out. I'm going to have breakfast, uh, which will probably be porridge, which I've been missing. And that is it. And then I'm going to have wait for this meal and then have my cake and that's it. And then I'm going to fast, fast. And then I'm going to have my afternoon tea with my daughter as I planned and whatever. And then next week, I'm going in. The thing is, it's not dangerous, but it, it wouldn't be advisable and I wouldn't advise it to my client to, to fast so aggressively one week before their period, especially as I'm going to go in for another two days. Now, if I'd done three days and then it, carbs, 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 or maybe clean carbs, that is, yeah, good carbs, no junk carbs, or a good keto with maybe one little portion of carbs, it would be okay to see me through my period because I think my period lands on the 22nd. Um, so that's one kind of one week thingy. But because I want to get a little bit self-control back in, I'm just going to go in for the three days, eat, go in for the two days, eat, and then go in for the week. That is my hypothetical plan right now. I don't know... If it's really going to go like that, I'm going to sit down with myself and maybe in a couple of hours and really think about it. Because one thing, nice thing about planning, you come up with an idea, but then you have to be realistic of if it's really going to work uh, realistically. I have to factor in a, a few things. Um, but I'm just going to look at yesterday and today as just a, another learning curve, honey. Nothing else I can do. Um, and just keep pushing forward with the plan that's why if I didn't have this plan you would just sabotage yourself continuously because you wouldn't have something to restart you or something to visualize visually allow you to say no I can do this um, and be honest with yourself as well so I'm not going to weigh myself in today either I'm just going to weigh myself in Monday I've probably put everything back on to be honest with you but you know what God is good all right guys it was a pleasure I'm going to log out tonight and log out and um, finish my video for today. And um, yeah, that's it. Okay, guys. Remember, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Take care.